Hey, uh, welcome to this quick one minute overview of lung ultrasound for acute dyspnea and breathlessness in the emergency department. Very briefly, I just want to point out some of the common artifacts. Uh, in this schematic, you can see that the ultrasound probe, either a phased array, cardiac probe, or an abdominal probe, can be placed um, in a longitudinal fashion on the anterior chest wall. Um, Normally sliding should be seen, the plural sliding, it's a bright echogenic white line just under the probe. Beyond that, only artifact is seen as ultrasound cannot penetrate through lung. A lines are normal and they're just reverberation. B lines are abnormal and tell us that the lung interstitium is either thickened or filled with fluid. More than three of these B lines um, between two ribs is considered to be abnormal and diagnostic of interstitial syndrome. So let's uh, take a look at what you might see in COPD. Here you will see lung sliding. That's the plural sliding, the bright white line that can be seen between ribs at the top of the screen. This would be seen bilaterally, um, in fact, on all zones in the chest. You may also see a reverberation artifact or an A line. And again, this is not abnormal. In acute heart failure, however, you will see multiple B lines in multiple zones in the chest. In fact, the more B lines and the more zones that are involved, the better the predictive value of the test for ruling in heart failure. Pretty much the uh, sensitivity and specificity are in the high 80s. As I say, the less B lines that are seen, the less likely there is that there's interstitial thickening or fluid, and the more B lines that are seen, the more likely. As a rule, we tend to advise that you see three B lines in at least two zones bilaterally to make a diagnosis of acute heart failure. Okay, so there you have it in one minute a brief overview of how to use ultrasound to help differentiate between COPD and acute heart failure in the emergency department.